The thoughts and opinions expressed in this video are entirely my own and are not representative of Sega, any of its studios or brands. I do not work directly on Sonic the Hedgehog, nor am I privy to any advanced information. I am just one of the biggest fans in the world, living out my dream of working at my favourite publisher. With that being said, let's get on with the video. Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Kalami, and I am here today to unbox the Amy Rose Strawberry Shortcake G Fuel. But, before we get into this, this video has a sponsor. If you like my drip, which I know you do, I know you love that drip, it's Kaguya. Go to eternaldreams.com forward slash Calamity Hatcher, link in description to get yourself 10% off. And get yourself some awesome drips so you can look like me. What more do you want? You could be me. Yay. Let's get on with the video. So to start, we got Amy on the front, Amy on the side, the old G Fuel energy information, and Amy on the back, which is kind of what you'd expect from this. Let's get it open and see what's what. So, try not to bend that there. Oh wow, this is a beautiful shaker. This is like G Fuel's new shakers, and it's a metal shaker. So I've been really excited for this. So let's take that out, and uh, let's take out the other bits. First, we have the Amy Rose G Fuel sticker. Love that. I've got so many G Fuel stickers now. So, yeah, I love a good sticker. I mean, let's put the box to one side. Then we'll go for the tub first. So we have a beautiful tub of Amy Rose's Strawberry Shortcake, which is a reskin of the original Strawberry Shortcake. Loving the fact that we're getting a Sonic reskin for this. Just, I've never had, actually had the Strawberry Shortcake, but my good friend Joe Todd has, and he absolutely loves it. So looking forward to that. And then we have the Amy Rose Metal Shaker. I love this. It says Amy Rose across the top there. You've got the new cap there, which is really, really cool. Open it up. On the inside, it has, oh wow. It's got the actual like breaker apart of the powdery thing built into the top, which is really cool. I wonder how that's going to be for cleaning though. I imagine that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So. Let's make one, taste test it, see what we think. So first, as always, get your scissors. As you can tell, we are back in the kitchen, which means it's a food-based unboxing, as it often is. It's been a while since we did a G Fuel unboxing, to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna put my scissors around, because if you're a G Fuel drinker, you know very well that white lids are not permitted. We have to keep the plastic on there. So let's do that, just make sure it's Properly done all the way around, cut through Amy's head. And there we go. So let's open it up. Oh wow, it's very pink. Oh dear God, just get a look at that. Very, very pink. Very, very pink. Luckily, the scooper is at the top, which I see as an absolute win. So because it's such a big shaker, I'm going to do nearly a full thing so it's going to be right to the top there Let me see the dust going everywhere oh wow that actually smells like strawberry shortcake that's that's kind of crazy so we have our scoop next let's get that milk thank you tesco and let's open it up mind that to myself i need to pick up milk later and let's pour it all in. Milky, milky goodness. All the way to the top. I used half a thing of milk there, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I need to pick up some milk later. But anyway, we're gonna add our scoop of the G Fuels. And give it a couple of taps just to get that all out. Normally they say, well, normally I put the powder in first, but because it's a milk-based flavour, I'm going to put it in after. Because i found that generally works better. And then, into my magic drawer, let's get a fork. Now, you're probably like, why aren't you getting a spoon? Because a fork breaks this stuff up better. Believe it or not. So, let's give it a good thing. And you're probably also saying... Well, why are you shaking it? Isn't that the point? Yes, that is the point. We will shake it as well. But I found with milk flavours, the G Fuel tends to clump a bit more. So it's often worth just 
going over it with a fork or a spoon first to really break apart the powder, get it moving, and then we'll give it a good shake after. So let's, uh, I can see it clumping. So we just really need to give it a good shake there. No, milk down the side. Mm. Milky. Give it a quick meow. Okay, okay. I think that's probably as good as I'm gonna get it without doing the old shaker room. So, pop that there. Pop the lid on. I really am in love with this shaker. This is absolutely stunning. Amy Rose, my girl. Make sure that lid is on tight before you shake your G Fuel. I have been victim to this many times. It's not fun. Ooh la la. I feel like a, like a cocktail artist Bartender. in a bar, yes. In a bar. You could totally imagine me in a bar. Right. Here we go. Everyone, taste test. Does it taste like strawberry shortcake? My God, that's divine. Just tastes like strawberry milkshake, not gonna lie. But pith one at that. Oh my God. That is amazing. I really, really like that. Amy Rose's Strawberry Shortcake G Fuel, available now, gfuel.com. This is not sponsored. You know me, I just have to uh, promote the Sonic and, and, and unbox all the Sonic things that come in, but it is sponsored by Eternal Dreams. Head over to eternaldreams.com forward slash Calamity Hatcher, get yourself 10% off, and it really helps support the channel. So, you know, help me out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Slap a like on it. And of course, Hit the subscribe button. We are really, really close to 2K subs. Closer than we've ever been. Uh, I just put out a reaction video for Avatar The Last Airbender, the Netflix series. And that's doing really well. You guys seem to be responding to that. So thank you so much for watching that. Really do appreciate it. If you enjoy all the Sonic the Hedgehog content, Avatar, Spider-Man, there's so much content to come. Please consider hitting subscribe. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. I'm here, reaching for a cross season.